Good morning. It's February 25th. It's the morning, early in the morning. And before I write today's word, I want to give you a quick testimony. So on Friday nights, I go to the county jail and I minister to the men there. And uh, just about all the men that I minister to in this group, they're all saved. They've all given their lives to Christ and, and they're coming along and they're growing and they're believing God and they're learning about God. And so one of the men comes to me and says, hey, man, I want you to pray for my wife. I've been trying to get her to go to your church, but, uh, you know, she just doesn't really feel like she should go or doesn't feel worthy or, or whatever. And, and I tell her, man, you can go because uh, here I am. I pick up the Bible and, and you know, fire doesn't fall down on me. And, and you know, all the bad things that I've done. So uh, he's been trying to get her to come and she hadn't come. He asked me to give her a call. I gave her a call and uh, we just believe God that may, maybe we would see her. So she showed up yesterday. And so she's in our service. I went and introduced myself to her and, and uh, I just, you know, welcomed her and asked her to enjoy the service. Well, during the service, we were just praying for her and I'm believing God that God would just touch her heart. My pastor, Pastor Cynthia Brazelton, pe preached a, a tremendous message, a powerful message about the kingdom, the power and the glory and uh, how to get into the presence of God and how the presence gives you access to the glory. And so I'm sitting there and I, I you know, we're just praying and believing God. I'm receiving, but I'm also praying for this sister. So. Um, at the end of the service, Pastor Cynthia gives the invitation and she didn't come. So I said, man, well, I know God touched her heart. Well, maybe we'll get another opportunity. Well, right before we left, right before we closed out and Pastor Cynthia gave the benediction, I thank God she was led. And she said, uh, listen, if you need prayer, any, any type of prayer, special prayer, well, uh, our elders are going to come up here to the front and you just come up to them and uh, they'll pray for you. And so I went up and and sure enough, she came. She came to see me. And so we got to talking. And uh, she never really, I mean, she's never been to church. She, she's never really heard the gospel. And so, uh, you know, it took a few minutes to just kind of share some things with her. Uh, obviously, um, Pastor Cynthia, uh, the word that came through her really touched her heart. And so she came forward. She responded. Long story short, she gave her life to Christ. So she got saved. And now we're going to go through the process of getting her, you know, baptized and discipled. And, and we're just going to believe God that God is going to do a mighty thing and a mighty work in our life. And we'll see the turnaround that we've all experienced. So why do I share that with you this morning? Well, number one, I always get excited when somebody gives their life to Christ. I just wanted to share that testimony with you. Uh, number two, I want to ask you to pray for her. I'm not going to tell you her name, but I'm going to ask you if you are a believer and you love God, Pray for this sister. She just got saved and, and she has some things that are heavy on her heart. We're just going to believe God that God will turn her life around. And then number three, if you don't know Jesus and the pardon of your sins, maybe you're watching this quick testimony. You say, man, I want to get saved. I don't know Jesus. I've never accepted Jesus as Lord. Uh, then then that's something that you need to do. I have some information on my website. Go to rickpina.org. And if you have any questions, shoot me a note. My information is on there. Rick at rickpina.org. Shoot me an email. Shoot me a note. My, my phone number is on there. Give me a call. Uh, but we just want to minister Jesus to you. For those of you that are saved, let's rejoice for this sister. Let's pray for her. Let's just believe God for a turnaround. Have a great week. I love you and God loves you too.